This morning, we are still with that conversation. So we have invited into the studio again yet another guest, another distinguished Nigerian, to come and share perceptions and experiences on how we can retrace our steps and achieve the desired dream for this country. Today, we have in the studio a beautiful young lady, far looking, uh, well, looking far younger than her years. I, I will keep that for now under wraps. That would be my own privilege. Maybe if you bribe me, I'll probably share that with you. Um, a graduate of literature and also with a postgraduate degree in education. So that tells you a lot. She's a teacher. She taught for so many years abroad before coming back home. Then continue with the trend of teaching, she also decided to become an author, a writer. And then she is now the director of the Ake Book Fair and Festival. Our pleasure welcoming you to the studio, Lola Shonai, to Close Flow. You're welcome to Close Flow. Very happy to be here. Thank you. Now, she's married. So I'm sure some of you are already looking a little, a little bit. Uh... Now, let's start with the fair first, before we go into whether you're married or not, and why you're not appearing as married. Now, the, the fair, what is it about, really? Um, it's actually a festival. So it's the Ake Arts and Book Festival. And it's um, one of the primary um, reasons why I thought it was a good idea to set it up and to organize it was because I thought it was important to celebrate, promote um, African culture. Um, there's so much beauty, so much wonderful history that we have. Um, but somehow we've managed to jettison it um, much to our disadvantage and we now often embrace hmm. everything that's Western. Um, so it's important for me um, that African intellectuals, African writers, thinkers, poets, speakers, artists, uh, filmmakers come together to talk about issues that pertain to Africa. Um, so that was the initial vision. Um, the other reason was to bring authors um, closer to their readers. Hmm. I think that's a, a wonderful way of inspiring children. Um, in November, just November last year, we had so many of, of the authors who came from all over um, the world, most of them African, going into schools in and around Abel Kuta to go and speak to the children. Um, and the feedback hmm. that I got from the kids was one thing that was phenomenal in, in itself. But hearing how the authors themselves felt about the experience, just being able to go into, you know, state schools, sometimes private Some schools. Some kind of virgin land, as it were. To go and share their experience. And a lot of them uh, talked about some of the questions that the children asked them and how intelligent and These how astute, hmm. you know, the kids are. Um, or how, the, how astute they were. And um, it's heartwarming. It, those are the things that made it absolutely worthwhile for me. Okay, now, but let's step back a bit. Before going into this, I mean, you, you didn't realize this was going to be this uh, phenomenal, as it were. So, what were your expeditions? How blown away were you? I've, well, post-event now. Um, I'm one of those people... Um, who, having finished one project, um, I immediately start thinking about how I can up my game, um, how I can improve on the last one. So in my mind, um, the, the project itself, the one that's kind of now in the past, starts to become slightly more diminished um, in, its, in its greatness because I'm looking ahead and I'm getting more and more excited about the, the next one. Okay. Um, but for me, I'd been a teacher for many years, a teacher both in the UK and also in Nigeria and a deputy principal. So organizing events, pretty easy for me because I would organize events, uh, two-day events at my you know, different schools, making sure that the students, the parents, everybody was occupied and engaged. So that's part of just my experience as a human being. But also for two and a half years, along with um, Dakbo Yewole, um, I organized an event called Infusion. It was a monthly cultural event in Abuja, which took place in a very swanky bar. Um, and I ran that for, for two years. So, so I already had an idea of how to put um, an event of this scale together. 
And of course, I've attended lots of festivals all over the world myself in my capacity as an author. Okay.